This is John Paul Ryan, coming from Tokyo, Japan, and some people call me... <music> Gonna give a quick shout out to Pop Culture Minefield, cool channel, thanks for support here. And today, talking about how Leia was actually gonna be the Jedi, or I should say, the last Jedi. Got a little article here, so let's just get right into it. Carrie Fisher's Leia Organa was originally going to be the Rise of Skywalker's last Jedi. Following Fisher's passing at the end of 2016, Episode 9, which we now know as Rise of Skywalker, had to be altered to account for the actress no longer being with us, while J.J. Abrams and his team were able to ensure Leia Organa would still have a role in the final chapter of the Skywalker saga, through the unused footage from Fisher from The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, that doesn't take away from the fact that she was originally supposed to have a much bigger role. That's that's interesting. In fact, according to Carrie Fisher's brother, Todd Fisher, the original version of Episode 9 would have seen Princess Leia finally getting to be a full-fledged Jedi warrior with lightsaber and all, as he put it. She was going to be the big payoff in the final film. She was going to be the last Jedi, so to speak. That's cool, right? And... I mean, off the bat, I kind of have mixed feelings about this, because on one hand, yes, it would be cool if Leia was a Jedi, and yes, we do need more female Jedis if it's done in the right way, not if they're just given everything automatically like Rey, but the point is, you know, it would have been cool. However, it also would have been cool to keep her more, like, diplomatic and using her brain to get through situations and not being kind of both and everything all at once but all in all I think I'd be totally cool with it as long as it was done right it was good and you know basically we got a story out of it and it wasn't she was becoming a Jedi just because she should become a Jedi because a woman hadn't had been a Jedi hadn't had had hadn't been okay I'm stuttering it's kind of late here but the point is as long as it was done right We've seen instances of Leia getting used in the Force in Star Wars movies, like when she sends her brother Luke, made it off the second Death Star alive and returned to the Jedi, or when she Force pulled herself in a vacuum of space back to safety in The Last Jedi, which really, really was silly. That's going easy on it. That was really silly, though. But we never got to see her show off her talents as a Jedi in the same way as Luke did, and Episode Nine would have changed that. There are undoubtedly a lot of Star Wars fans who have wanted to see Leia show off some lightsaber skills on screen. Yeah, like I said could be cool it's a little hard to wrap my head around and imagine but it would have been cool and what I hear is maybe Luke would have turned to the dark side and she would have ended up fighting him at the end or something like that something would have gone down maybe she was the only one who could turn him back to the light and that would have kind of taken the story a step further someplace you couldn't really take it with a stranger or something like that as previously revealed by Lucasfilms Kathleen Kennedy once Fisher was done shooting The Last Jedi, she told Kennedy that she better be at the forefront of Episode 9. Okay, I mean, not sure where she gets to make that demand, but okay, okay. As The Force Awakens highlighted Han Solo and The Last Jedi highlighted Luke Skywalker, Kennedy... <laughs> yeah, yeah, The Force Awakens really highlighted Han Solo as this deadbeat dad and someone who gets killed by his son. Awesome. He also takes Rey to see Maz to tell Rey about this really important piece of heritage, the lightsaber. Basically, <laughs> Han chaperones Rey and Finn around the galaxy. Wow, what a highlight. Luke, what a highlight. He gets to drink titty milk, he gets to be lectured by Rey, and then he gets to die. What a highlight. Just remembering how good the Disney Star Wars trilogy is for a second. Sorry. And it says here they were going to honor her request to be in the forefront. Pretty interesting that an actor can just request something about a story and get it. But in this case, you know, okay, okay. And they go on to say that obviously it's not the way it turned out because, you know, unfortunately she passed away, so they had to do something else with episode 9, and I'm really, really scared to see what they did <laughs> because it seems like, according to leaks, it's going to be absolutely terrible. I stated in a video I think the leaks are going to be true, and the reason I think they're true is because they're so bad it's something that they would do. And if the leaks were good, if we were like, holy shit, yeah, that, that could actually maybe work, I'd be like, well, they're probably fake. But since the leaks are so bad, and the leaks managed to make the movie possibly worse than The Last Jedi, I'm thinking that could actually be true. I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. This is my playroom. I don't clean it up. I don't have any time here. I ain't got nothing guys, I got a mic, I got a webcam, I got no time, 
I'm blabbering. That's the end of the video. The lighting's good in the room, though, and I will see you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.